You know, I think, uh, I think we got a deal. Uh, oh my goodness, I own the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Good day, folks. Today we'll show you the top 10 Pawn Stars million dollar deals. Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. One of the reasons why the show Pawn Stars is still up and running even more than a decade later is because of the unpredictable items that are being sold in the shop. From gold to silver to random items, everything has its own value. Some of them are even worth millions of dollars. Two million dollars at auction now. That's what I want to hear, man. I will let you know what happens, man. I mean, uh, yeah. thanks for coming in. Thanks. Gobrecht Dollar and Liberty Head Double Eagle. Jeff has two coins that are highly valuable in history, and he wants a total of 41000 for it. I was in town, and uh, I have a couple coins to show you I think you might like. Okay, let me, let me see, see him. Yeah. Okay, that'd be great. First coin is an 1838 Gobrick dollar. These were the Rick coins. wants it since it's one of the coins that is so rare that only 20 pieces of the coin were ever made in the whole world. We didn't know this, but it turns out Rick is a big-time coin collector. He wants the item for himself. Well, he is only interested in the Gobrecht coin, and they agreed on a price of $24,000. You know, $24,000. Um, if you're buying it for yourself, I would sell it for the $24,000. Great, sweet, we got a deal. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, Thanks. even though it's for myself, we still got a deal. A page from the Gutenberg Bible. The Gutenberg Bible basically belongs to a museum because of how valuable it is. Look like this, to having people copy the invention, to go throughout Europe, setting up printing centers all through Europe within 50 years. It literally was like the internet. It went from it's worth millions. Adam brought in the holy grail of all books, a page from the Gutenberg Bible. He wants $65,000 for it, and Rick immediately calls in the expert to check if it's real. The anticipation is worth it since it's legit. They agreed on $67,000 and that's it. Rick officially owns a page from the historical Gutenberg Bible. You're really mad at me. So 47, we got to do. You're not going to be mad when you make <laughs> make a small fortune. Um it's amazing. Uh, I'll meet you right up front. Let me get some Giordano Bruno first edition book. Rick traveled all the way to Italy just for a single piece of literature. Like this. Of 6,000 euros. Okay, that's pretty amazing. But the main reason I'm here is I heard you have a first edition. A book that was printed in 1587 and is a first edition book of the legend Giordano Bruno. The church ordered that all his books should be burned. That's why all the remaining books are extremely rare. The shop owner in Italy agreed for Rick to buy it for $100,000. The whole Italy escapade is worth it. I will give you $100,000 for it. Let's do this deal. Antique Russian Saber. Alex wants $40,000 for his antique Russian sword that he inherited from his grandfather. Um, do you know what it is? I'm actually not too sure. Uh, I know my grandfather got it at an auction. I just know that it's valuable. That's pretty much it. Chumley is amazed with what he's seeing in front of him, but in order to be sure, he calls in their resident expert to check on the item. It turns out it belonged to a Russian prince that was killed by the sword itself. The estimated value could go for 75 all the way up to $100,000. Alex decided to keep the item and find the best auction to sell it to. I don't you know, blame now, you. Now that makes me think that I should find the right auction for it. All right, well, thanks for coming in. Listen, I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Have a good day. You too, thank you. After knowing yeah. Tupac's BMW. Who doesn't know Tupac? He is literally an icon and his legacy will always remain in the music industry. Rick considers him a legend and he and Chumley went in to get a deal for Tupac's actual BMW where he got shot. This is the car he got shot at. We do. We have the lease paperwork showing that Death Row Records actually was the leaseor and that Tupac was... The guy who's selling it wants 1,500,000 freaking dollars. Rick obviously couldn't pay for it with that kind of amount, so he respectfully declined. But just being able to touch the vehicle is crazy amazing already. It's a million dollars in an auction, and it just sort of depends on the auction. So a lot more than I'm willing to pay for it, but uh, I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you very much. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory props. 
Who doesn't love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Come on, we could all agree that we used to fantasize about getting that golden ticket. <laughs> and I'll be right back. <laughs> Voila. This is the original hat that Gene Wilder wore in the original film. Is that it? Well, Rick fulfilled his dreams when he went to the warehouse where the original props for the movie were being stored. He immediately wants to get a deal with the everlasting gobstopper. In the end, he was able to make a deal for $105,000 for the item, plus a bonus of a Wonka bar. What a sweet deal. No. All right, so $105,000 and I get a Wonka bar. I'm gonna miss that everlasting gobstopper. Sweet! You got a deal. Ancient Greek coin. Imagine walking in the pawn shop without knowing the actual value of the coin that you have in your pocket. The idea you have is, oh, this looks expensive, let me try my luck. What I'm hoping is a very, very old, very rare coin. Cool. Worth what I think it's worth, which is a substantial amount. Okay. That is exactly what happened to this guy who asked Rick for 20 grand for this ancient Greek coin. That is already pricey, but you won't believe what happened next. Rick called in the expert to authenticate the coin, and it turns out it's legit and estimated at a value of $50,000. In the end, the guy walked home with double the amount he was originally expecting. 35 grand for it. 30. Which is more than you were looking to get for earlier. It's, but then uh, I'm leaving like that. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 40 grand. 40,000 is fair. Okay, all right, cool, man. This Claude Monet's painting. An authentic Claude Monet painting, on average, will cost you around seven million dollars. Monet painting. I'm hoping. Now, was it on exhibit at the Las Vegas Art Museum? It was in All 1997. Right. Okay. They say early period, mm -hmm. which is very vague. I mean, he lived a very. This man carried their family heirloom on the gold and silver pawn shop with pride, and this is a breathtaking Claude Monet painting. Without shame, this guy expects to walk home with a million bucks in his pocket. But sadly, it's a scam since the painting is the furthest thing from being legit. Is it real? It's in the style of Monet, but it's not absolutely not by the end of uh, Claude Monet. And not probably, real. Not real. Ugh. Michael Jordan's Space Jam sneakers. The holy grail of sneakers. Yep, you heard it right. Rick and Chum Lee went into this shoe warehouse to check the best kicks to purchase and also to try to make a deal with the sneakers that were used by Michael Jordan himself in the movie Space Jam. Oh, I thought a light was gonna come up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Rick. Well, it turns out that the guy is selling it for a million bucks and Rick could only go for $300,000. No deal was made in the end for the Space Jam sneakers. You can at least make the guy an offer. I mean, I'd offer him like 300 grand because I just don't know enough about shoes. You can't do better than that. I'm good. What Declaration of Independence broadside. The Declaration of Independence is probably the biggest historical moment of all time. Rick went to New York to get a chance to make a deal with Jeremy who owns the original Declaration of Independence broadside, and this piece is one of the 20 left in the entire world. Two million dollars at auction now. That's what I want to hear, man. I will let you know what happens, man. I mean, uh, yeah. thanks for coming in. Rick confessed that it's the coolest thing he's ever seen in his entire career. Jeremy wants two million dollars for it. Rick had to get it checked out. And when the expert said that everything was authentic, they agreed for a price of $1,450,000. And with that, it sold. Rick officially owned a Declaration of Independence. You know, I think, uh, I think we got a deal. Uh, oh my goodness, I own the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, I will get the money. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and share the video with your family and your friends. We'll see you soon.